hey guys what's up it's solo and today we are going to be talking about as you can tell by my gun gambit so with gambit i have a list of five things that i wrote down that need to at least be edited or changed with gambit just due to the fact that they're just kind of outliers of what's happening and why people some people don't like gambit so we're just gonna get into the discussion well right now i should say but um before i do i am gonna say sorry about taking yesterday off i've been having a little bit of issues with sleeping schedules and getting used to the medication that i'm on and all this other stuff so i want to apologize for that since i didn't upload yesterday i did live stream on twitch uh if you guys want to go follow me over on twitch my twitch handle is just solos world i think it was solos world yt or something like that um over on twitch but yeah so let's talk about gambit now gambit if you guys don't know used to be one of my favorite modes in destiny because i used to like grind it all the time but nowadays grinding it kind of feels like a slug and honestly there's a reason behind that because back when gambit first came out it was brand new there's stuff to do and you know there was things to actually work towards but then all of a sudden they stopped doing really much with gambit and it just became this oh it has a rotation but it's a rotation that happens every year and that's what basically became a gambit so with um gambit now the only change that we've had in the past i want to say year is that the meatball boss got rotated out and so did i think two maps and now it just feels like i'm playing the same map over and over and over again for example i think i played the one on i believe it's the edz and then the one on europa like i think those are the two prominent ones that i get is the one on the edz and the one on europa and we used to have one that was on the dreaming city we used to have one that i believe just looked like a bunch of fallen wreckage but those don't appear in the in the game right now so you're basically shuffling between two maps and i remember the pvp community being all up in arms about them not getting any maps and then i'm just in here like bruh gambit has like two maps right now and y'all y'all up in arms because you guys don't have a new one like i don't know it's it's a big thing i hope bungie do make more maps for gambit but also i have a weird feeling that gambit might just get dropped one day because the community thinks that's the answer is to drop gambit even though there are quite a few people who actually enjoyed gambit they just want to see it get updated kind of like pvp and that's one one of the topics i actually had on my list is the mechanics of gambit definitely need to get updated because with gambit and boss dps in gambit it makes the boss like or trying to catch up with the boss kind of really really bad because like i've had times where my team and i will get invaded like four times and then turn around and try to catch up at all and you know it's supposed to spawn the invasion portal because that's what it's supposed to do to make it so then you can catch up and invade and then turn around and you know try to win well for some reason it will be like the last like half of the boss's health i will have it where the portal doesn't spawn whatsoever and you know there's n at that point there's no hope in saving it unless you can magically kill the boss in like next minute or so but at that point you've just barely summoned the primeval 
And so there's really no way of you to do that. There's no way to just melt the boss that quickly. So in that case, you're basically doomed to lose. And that's kind of disheartening because like you could be doing really well. Like I've had games where I've banked like 60 motes and still lost because of this issue. And another big prevalent issue is heavy spam. I can't tell you the amount of times I've gone over to invade with a regular weapon and gotten immediately domed by Xenophage. Or some heavy weapon that somebody has. Like, hell, I think I've even been domed by um, the craftable, yeah, Taipan invading recently and it's just it's been a problem even back in forsaken where people get heavy weapons that either track or just make it easier for them to kill people and they use them as a crutch and bungie tried to you know take this down by limiting heavy but that's the issue is the way that the quote-unquote limited heavy was you got heavy every time you clear a wave, which I don't think that's limiting, really. I think that gave people even more heavy, because people would just loot the chest of heavy, and then turn around and invade after looting that chest. But no, that's another big thing, is heavy weapon crutching is really high in Gambit. Like, if I had a dollar for every time I had been killed by a heavy either invading or being invaded I'd probably be like a millionaire at this point but yeah so that's one of the mechanics that are kind of broken is heavy ammo spawns and then of course the um the shield is also kind of broken because you'll get to like the last millimeter like you'll be racing another team and you'll get to the last millimeter and you're the one behind mind you when this happens but you'll get to the last millimeter of the boss's health and then all of a sudden boom shield and then you lose because you can't go over and kill the envoys fast enough because the other team didn't get a shield when they were doing it So that breaks, kind of breaks, uh, and makes it so then the enemy team basically just has a free win. And then there's still the issue from all the way back in Forsaken when the game mode came out of when you sit there and you do like add clear to get moats. Some of the moats just yeet themselves under the map. I don't know if they're going to ever fix that. Um, I feel like it's a collision issue with the map. But yeah, moats always... Like, there's always at least one per match that spawn underneath the map. And it's just... That's been an issue since it came out. But yeah, so that's most of the mechanics that are kind of problematic because I don't know it, it I like like I like the premise of it. You know, I like the whole PVE and then you can have PVP. But again, it feels like you have to be good at PVP to even be able to win. Because it feels like a lot of the people who are really, really good at PvP and can just go over and slaughter everyone basically win. Because all they have to do is invade and kill you enough and you're not going to win. And I don't think it should be like that. I don't think it should be heavily weighed towards PvP in that sense. But who am I, who am I to say anything, right? Um... So the next issue is maps. Like I said, we have not had a new Gambit map since the Dreaming City map came out. The Dreaming City map, I believe, was the very last new map we got in Gambit. And it's funny that, like, 
PvP people were like counting the days that it's been since the last PvP map, right? And then I'm just sitting here like, I'm pretty sure it's been longer since Gambit's have had a new map, but okay. Um, and honestly, at this point, I'm just, I'm tempted to go on Twitter and just start counting the days that we don't have a new Gambit map. And just, and wait for the PvP players to be like, oh, this is stupid. I'll be like, what do you mean? You did the same thing. Like, don't act like you didn't. God, those storm grenades are brutal. Yeah, but don't act like you didn't do the same thing with PvP. Um, but yeah, it's been a long time since we've had a new map. And, like, most of the, like, almost half of the Gambit maps don't even exist, like, or aren't even in the game anymore. Well, I, they're out of rotation, but they don't get played anymore. Because the rotation, for some reason, they decided to make it a year long. And that's another thing, is, like... If you're gonna rotate out the meatball, right? Because the whole new shield mechanic came in. Give us a new boss. Like, don't just rotate out a boss and then... Say, oh, well, now you're just stuck doing less bosses. You know, I love the meatball for the simple fact of it was unique. It was a unique boss, but also it started the quest for the gun I'm holding. Like... Mind you, they've limited how exclusive it was. It used to be really, really uh, challenging to get the Malfeasance quest item to drop. Back at the beginning. But now it's not as hard as it used to be. Well, I don't know. I feel like they need to have more Gambit exclusive stuff. Because, like, there's a there's a thing you could say for all of the, I guess, P, uh, PvE, PvP playlists, and, of course, Gambit, is that they definitely 100% need to rework progression systems for all of them. And the reason why I say this is because with all of them, they all feel the same. Every single one feels the same. It's literally the week resets and you're sitting there and you... Or no, it's not even the week resets. The year resets because it's a year cycle for ar armor sets. And the only new thing in between seasons is the seasonal weapon that you get every time. And most of the time it's just like a certain weapon that eventually they ask you to use to get any seal like gilded like the dredging um the dredging seal needs grenade launcher kills this season because cry mutiny is the seasonal weapon but other than that there's not really much to strive for when it comes to gambit Like, what am I supposed to strive for after I've gotten the entire armor set in Gambit? And then, you know, there's not really any new, like, weapons or at least anything of interest. You know, and this happens for Vanguard and Crucible, too. Because, like, there's not really, like, besides, like, trying to go for Trials Adept weapons, there's not really much to go for. Uh, and Vanguard Strikes... You can go for Nightfall weapons, you know, try to do Grandmaster Nightfalls and get Adept or whatever type weapons. I don't remember. I think it is Adept weapons out of Grandmaster Nightfalls. But after that, then what? Like, the only thing stopping you from doing a Grandmaster is power level half the time. And that's just because they don't let you do Grandmasters unless you're a certain power level. Like, that's really it. And then, you know, with Gambit, what is there to strive for in Gambit? 
They took out Gambit Prime, so you're not, you know, going for sets that help you in Gambit. And it makes me laugh when people say, oh, well, Gambit Prime wasn't that good. It's probably the worst part of Gambit. No, no, it wasn't. You want to know why? Because at least then, when I put in, you know, an hour, hour and a half of work, I could actually get something that would help me in the game mode in Gambit. Whereas now, or before Prime, literally when you grind it out, the only thing really to earn... Um, since they don't do really new armor sets until like the year or quote unquote the DLC comes out. Um, the only thing to earn was the rewards from Drifter. And even then, before the rewards like thing got reworked, there was just nothing to do. <laughs> like you did your pinnacle and... That was it. And it's basically still that way. After you get the armor set for the first time. That's it. And nowadays it feels like. I'm only playing Gambit every season. To chase shaders. Because like they're doing really really good with the shaders. But. I don't know. I feel like each mode needs to get its own. Unique armor set. Because that's another gripe I have with the armor sets. For each one of the modes is why are they all like the a variation of the same armor like literally the gambit actually i can show you guys the gambit the crucible and the vanguard armor set are exactly the same like this is the crucible one which is called the clutch x x toll here let me show you what this uh what this one looks like um really quick so this is what this one looks like right looks like master chief right okay let's let's keep going over keep going over um let's go to gambit oh what oh look viper dad oh it's the same one it just has a snake on it then we go to factions we scroll until we see, uh, yeah, until we see this, uh, photo Swede. Oh, look, it's the same thing, just with a Vanguard logo on it. Like, come on, I know people at Bungie are more creative than that. I've seen some magical stuff come out of Bungie, like, why are we getting armor sets that are basically the same thing? With like little tiny slight variations. Like if I want to grind Gambit. I should not feel like I'm grinding the same thing as everybody else playing Crucible and Vanguard Strikes. And another thing. Why is it so hard to make better, um, better like modes? You know? Because like as, as everyone knows. Champions are pain. They're always a pain. And I'm hoping eventually we'll get something along the lines of, like, legendary difficulty for, like, strikes or, you know, something along those lines. Where it can give drops or, like, unique rewards. And a lot of people like, um, the idea of skeleton keys. Hell, I believe, I believe back in the day, back in Destiny 1, I made a video about skeleton keys because those were like so sought after back in destiny one because they were just so unique of a mechanic because it was basically a key that would guarantee strike specific loot and also i believe at the time it also gave you um power level which was called light level back then but regardless um it gave you power level as well and it was one of the things that helped you level up really well but then they just kind of ditched that entirely coming to destiny 2 which i understood it at the beginning because it's like why would we have these you know really high level stuff if you guys are super low level but nowadays since we're only going up by like 10 power i can also understand why we don't you know go up to legendary modes of stuff but i feel like 
with these playlist activities i think one of the cool things you could do is like make an armor set that based on the amount of resets your um rank has the better it looks and in the season that armor set can be reset in the season but then when the new season starts it'll be a different one you know because i feel like you could do some really cool ideas especially with the fact you know gambit has always been you know the snake looking armor set crucible has always been like the phoenix slash um like bird armor set and vanguard's always the you know like uh, how, how would you describe the vanguard set like very heroic or stoic looking set and like i feel like you could do that like take those ideas and make them into armor sets that could upgrade over time because that's the big thing is you'll always hear a lot of people talk about like how they want like strike specific loot back the reason why people want that is because it made unique items and unique um unique looks for people's you know fashion and i know the fashion community they're insane when it comes to making new lo looks but like i'm sorry something like hold up hold up so there are certain things that i will not purchase eventually i will purchase the hatchling huddle i want to get that that is actually one of the things i want but there are certain things I will not purchase. And these are one of the things I won't purchase. Because, like, yeah, they're ornaments. But, like, I feel like that could have been a really cool legendary piece of armor. I might actually get the threatening breath when I get the chance. But, like, I don't know. It should not be a... We should not be having like legendary some legendary stuff being put as ornaments when I really feel like it could be really good as actual pieces of armor, you know? Like I get why ornaments are behind this and stuff like that is because, you know, they got to make money somehow, especially. Well, originally it was because they weren't partnered with activision anymore right but now i could definitely say why don't we just try to like you remember how bright engrams used to be uh for anyone who doesn't know bright engrams used to have a chance to just give you any item from the bright dust shop or not the bright dust shop but from the eververse shop like you could get almost any item whether that be you know, an ornament or just, you know, an arrival or a shader or just like some random just ornament for a gun that you don't have. That's what happened to me for a while was I was getting a bunch of ornaments that I didn't have guns for. And then, of course, when they split from Activision, those stopped. But now they're with Sony, so it's like, eh like why i don't know i feel like some legendary ornaments shouldn't be in the um or in the eververse store and yeah you could say oh well eververse has ruined you know that because it's monetization but honestly eververse isn't as bad as it could be like they could make it so then like you don't get anything cool looking without you know without going through that you know like they could make it so then the seasonal sets were behind the eververse store but they don't do that of course and there's a lot of legendary sets that are really cool looking that are not behind eververse it's just it is a little disheartening to see the fact that they used to have a an entire way of getting emotes without buying anything and they switched it up to get the um yeah they switched it out to get more money when they of course switched like i'd really love 
to get the hatchling huddle, but I'd have to get it from the bright dust shop, and even then I'm still kind of hurting for bright dust. I don't know. It's just it's just the thing about systems and cosmetics. Cause like I feel like if you give people a good cosmetic for them to work towards, that gives them benefits for actually grinding for it. I feel like people will be happy with the fact that they grinded out Gambit for like ten hours. You know? Cause like I was really happy back when Gambit Prime was a thing, cause like I would grind out Gambit for a few hours. And then turn around and actually have something to show for it. God, those storm grenades are just busted. But yeah. And that's my big thing. Is I definitely feel like if you want to fix Gambit. Or any of the playlist activities. Give us vo more variety. Because, like, yeah, you can get all the seasonal content variety, but I would start making teams that are, like, purely based on core activities. That are based making core activities more, I guess, fun to play, but also more challenging to play. Um, And while, like, you know, champions are a new idea, I think champions are not super good. Um... Although, people saying that Tormentors are going to be champions, like, I don't think so. But anyway, guys, that was me rambling on. Um, I'm going to try to have a theory for you guys sometime this week. Uh, I don't know when, though. And I'm still trying to figure out a theory. If you guys have a suggestion for that, leave it in the comments below. And if you guys liked the video, hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a Destiny video. And I'll see you guys... In next one. Bye-bye.